Hello everyone, this is Aida Golami from Magnemet Soft Research Company and today I'm going to teach you how to copy formula in Excel. So first of all, um, watch these columns here. In the first column I have precipitation sum. So I have some values uh, that they are all the rain uh, in one month. And here in the second column, I have number of days. So it's, uh, we say it's 30 days in each month. And in the third one, I want to have the precipitation average. So that's a really like easy function that I just type average. And then I want to um, select all those cells and give the average but another way is that i want to just do it manually so what i will do is that i first sum all this and then i want to divide it by this 30 days okay so then i have this um value for the precipitation average for the first month now what if i want to copy this form this formula to the next cells so the first one so the first you know um way is to take my mouse in the uh, corners of the cell uh except the right down uh, side actually I want it in here and when this sign appears I click on the cell and drop it I just drag it and then I drop it in any cell that I want okay so I will drop it in here you can see that this formula is like removed so it's not copied it's just removed uh, it's like something like cut and paste okay so I can remove it like that now the second one um, now I want to copy it okay I can select the cell click ctrl and C or simply I can right click on that click copy copy and then I go to the other cell and click ctrl and V or I right click and go to paste options formulas and paste it now what a strange error huh uh, when you get this error don't freak out if you just double click and that you can see that this cell is now moved and you don't have any value for that now you can see that by moving this you know copying this formula to the next cell it wants to apply all those um settings in this new area so we call it relative values so it's now using relative values but how can we fix it um one of the ways you know um the way to fix it is to um there's two options maybe if we can even call this first one an option because it's I think it's stupid but you can copy it to all the cells and then you can see that it will be right um, but the thing is that don't do that because uh, there is a better way so what we need to do you want to lock these cells you want to lock these cells in order to use just the absolute values. We call it absolute values. So I go to any, um, you know, cell that is um, written here. And then I click F for now because of, you know, uh, recording things. And because if I press F4, uh, it will change something. I just do it manually. So I just put this dollar um, sign here and lock 
that cells okay so now you can see that if I copy it to other cell here for example or anywhere in this worksheet I have um, locked those cells and it will just copy the formula correctly so um, in um, for copying the cells another way to do is to uh, put your mouse um, sign in the right corner of the cell right uh, downside of the cell and then when the sign appears you can click and copy it to all the cells okay now here if I have some different values say I have uh, 29 days in one uh, month and 30 and maybe I have just 25 days of uh, data logging or less or more or um, another value then I can unlock those cells let's see where we go I unlock them and again copy it to other cells now you can see that this relative values are working actually here again I want to lock these um, this column here because it um, makes trouble for us maybe here it doesn't but in some functions maybe it does okay so it's better to lock the cells that uh, should be locked okay that they they shouldn't move now you can see that it's different actually so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you all learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next video and bye